Hello. Ah, what's up, guys? Mark from DSUni here, and I keep getting. <sighs> I've made videos about this before, and I keep getting a lot of the similar um, questions. So a lot of people are like, "How do you get traffic to your listings?" So let me just explain a couple things before I go into showing you guys on eBay how the fuck you get traffic to your listings right now eBay drop shipping is about the eBay marketplace if any of you guys who make money who sell on eBay you could log into eBay account and check to see if you get traffic from any external um, external places and generally speaking it's less than one percent so it's about beating the eBay fucking website right in order to get sales in within the eBay marketplace you have to get traffic from the eBay search and there are only a couple things that affect um, your ranking in eBay search and I'm gonna list them I'm just gonna say them out loud I have a video about it I have to look for it I mean you could search for eBay SEO on my channel you'll find it but one is obviously your titling and we can't really compete with that because there's so much competition there's titles for everything two is your price I try to win on price Three, which is I think more important or equally as as important as the price, is the last time something was sold on that specific listing. Four is how many times something was sold from that specific listing. Five, which is also very important, is your seller standard, whether you're top rated seller, top rated plus, or above standard. Above standard is, you could find what above standard. Once you're above standard, you don't have to really worry about anything. And six is, ah, the last, the la like, if it, it's a new listing, a lot of times new listing gets boosted for about 24 hours. Seven is if, and, and, fuck. Ah, if, if it, an, a, a, a listing is ending soon, even if you do a good, to, good till cancel listing at the 30 day mark, it shows up with a little red thing on the corner with a clock ending soon. And I'll show you all this now, right? And ah, and then eight is almost um, done. So if you have like 10 items listed and only one or two left and eight were sold, that will get a boost and there's a little red thing on the corner the reason why those eight things matter is because ebay wants think about it ebay wants its buyers to get to sellers who are selling at a fair price selling correctly and selling and 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 are selling to, to satisfied customers right there's one thing i didn't mention and that comes into titling when you get traffic with a good title and you don't get get sales that drops your ebay ranking i'll give you an example i was selling and again be patient i'm going to show you some stuff i was selling a a bouncy castle about a, two years ago it's from walmart and i sniped it from someone remember i don't title so i sniped it from someone that had commercial bouncy castle in their title now this shit was not fucking commercial but people were searching for commercial bouncy castles and because it was not commercial it was a lot cheaper than other commercial bouncy castles so I was getting a lot of traffic and then when people realized it wasn't commercial they didn't buy so you also don't want to title your items just to get traffic because that's going to hurt the ranking of that specific listing all the things I'm talking about are for specific listings the reason why you want to make sure and be good till cancelled is because you want to get like I have listings with 700 sales and no one could fucking beat it. And once, like one listing, I sold over 700 times. It is at the top of eBay search and people keep buying. So I keep getting sales. It keeps stays at the top of eBay search and you can't really beat it unless you want to sell the same item for like 10 bucks. Anyway, 
I will, I, and again, if you guys who did the training should know all of this. There's a one hour training below. For free, you should check it out. So let me just confirm this. So let's search for men's mountain bike. I just put men's mountain. I'm a fucking idiot. But it's going to search. Let me do men's mountain bike. I don't know why my internet's a bit slow today. What I want to show you guys is that the things I just talked about show up in the eBay search. It's not me just telling you some random shit like read, name your fucking images and you're going to get eBay, eBay um, ranking, right? So because they're different sizes, they have shop wheel size. But I want to get a regular result. Okay, so look at this right this item is 200 bucks I don't know why they have it as as seven dollars shipping it's the same idiot but what you would notice a couple things I talked about this is a top rated plus seller and the item sold 18 times okay so uh, the fact these top rated plus is a good thing the fact that it's sold multiple times is a good thing same seller top rated plus sold 24 25 times i suspect this is the same guy i can't maybe he stopped selling and that's why he put his shipping as a retarded not to show sure why you will do that this sold 24 times And these are all top rated. This is all the same top rated plus guy. Another thing I try not to do is compete with guys who have top rated plus. That is something very hard to do. He's clearly not a drop shipper because this is a random bike part. 84,000. Um, he has 84,000 feedback. Generally speaking, I don't think that's a drop shipper for the number of feedback and it's a bike store right so let's look for let's look for another again I do all of this live and a lot of times I'll do it live so you can see that um, let me see I just chose something I do a lot of this live so you can see what it takes because there, some of the times it's it's hard like you make mistakes and so on so anyway so if you look this one he's top rated seller Let's see if he sold anything. There are 42 watches, so I'll suspect that he sold, right? So two sold. Let's see when an item was sold. May 26th. Today is June 3rd. So it was sold pretty recently. Let's see what else. So I am giving you all the different things, like the combination of things that affect the ranking. Again, the price, the rating of the seller, if something sold and when it was sold. Same thing I was telling you. You see this fucking shit? It says new listing. That's another thing that boosts. And that's another. Again, I'm not doing this as a course and listing stuff. So you, like I just don't, I'm doing a lot of this on the fly. So hopefully you guys will learn from it. But look at this. New listing, right? He got a boost because of the new listing. It show, it's on the first page. And this motherfucker has zero feedback. It's also $40. I don't know how, like, he might be just doing that to get ranking. Or he might have just had someone buy it, like had his friend or something buy it from him so he could get boosted, right? But guys, if you check those eight things that I told you guys about, you would notice it will come up over and over and over. One reason that I suggest that you guys list every single day is because every single day you'll get a boost from the new listing and every single day you'll get a boost from ending soon let me search for um tv stand and see if i can show you give you guys i hate when the results are like that um tv stand 60 inch Again, top rated seller, a lot of watchers. I suspect he has a lot of sales. Top rated seller. Look again. Uh, 
So if you will notice, the top rated seller is a big thing. The thing about it is it is actually easy to get top rated seller now because of some changes in eBay. So a lot, and because Walmart and Amazon ship really quickly. So you guys should have no problem as a top rated seller. Okay, so this was the top of the ranking. One sold. You see, it sold yesterday. It sold fucking yesterday. So guys, hopefully you, you learn from what I'm saying. It is 10 o'clock and I actually have to go pick up my girlfriend. So I need to run. But if you notice, these guys don't have a lot of feedback. This was sold three days ago. And it's at the top of the search. So guys, anyway, hopefully you, you learn from this. Hopefully you take something away from it. If you have any questions, if you want me to go into more details, comment on the video, send me a message. Guys, subscribe. I'm trying to get to 5,000 subscribers. Look in the description. There's a lot of cool shit. Free mastermind group. Free one-hour training. It is free. I'm not trying to sell you anything when you give you an email. Love you guys. Travel world. Make that money. I need to go. Um, is there anything I want to say? No. Later.